forecast in the Ozarks. Well, keeping a close eye on radar for anything, something that signifies a little bit of wet weather and really not finding too much out there. There have been a very few isolated, and I stress isolated light showers, which are trying to pop up to our southeast this afternoon. Here's a one hour radar loop, and that helps to show where this activity is. Looks like maybe one isolated shower to the west of Van Zandt. That one's falling apart. We've got another one here north of Yellville, and we've got some better shower coverage uh, near and south of Melbourne. That's where there's a little bit more moisture in the atmosphere, a little more moisture available to generate some wet weather. There's a little swirl in the atmosphere right here, this little chunk of upper level energy. And if there was more moisture in the atmosphere, we'd likely see some rain out there across southwest Missouri. But not the case. Look how dry it is. Uh, right now, we're looking at a scale here that shows how much available uh, moisture in the atmosphere there is, and we're on the low end. So very, very dry conditions across the area. More moisture, though, as you head southeast and in northeast Arkansas, and that's where we've seen a few isolated showers. We've got a cold front sneaking across the area tomorrow morning, and it will usher in another shot of mild conditions that will enjoy the rest of the week through the weekend and into next week. Also on the back side of that front, it will likely come with some cloud cover for the morning hours on Thursday, and that cloud cover may linger a little bit across our eastern counties down into northern Arkansas into the afternoon. So here's our hour by hour forecast. Overnight tonight stays quiet. That cold front expected to drop in towards sunrise. Uh, looks like it'll push across Springfield right around sunrise. And here's that cloud cover building in on the back side of that front. Uh, looks like for the morning tomorrow, we'll probably find a period of mostly cloudy to cloudy conditions here along the interstate. Uh, that cloud cover should thin out, though, by early afternoon with mostly sunny skies developing at least across southwest Missouri, northwest Arkansas for the remainder of the day. Looks like we may hold on to partly to mostly cloudy skies off to the east and southeast. Temperatures tonight comfortably cool again, about 60 for the low with highs tomorrow ranging from the mid to upper 70s north to near 80 to the south. Looks like about 79 degrees here in Springfield. We're talking about Sally. Sally did move ashore early this morning uh, before sunrise uh, at Gulf Shores, Alabama. That storm now tracking northeast into southern sections of Alabama. The center of the storm is actually located right here, so it's become very lopsided. All the rain is on the north and east side of the center. Drier air has wrapped in on the uh, back side of that storm. Uh, and these bands that you see off to the east across the panhandle, those are sometimes ones you got to watch for possible uh, tornado development. Uh, there's been at least one reported tornado today, and tornado watch does remain in effect for a good chunk of the Florida panhandle. Again, Gulf Shores, Alabama is where that center came through uh, just ahead of sunrise this morning. In terms of uh, really the, the big story out of the storm isn't so much the wind or the wind damage. I mean, this part of Florida gets hurricanes all the time, and recently they've had some pretty big ones. Uh, it's the rain. Uh, we've seen 15 to 25 inches of rain across the panhandle of Florida into south central Alabama. Winds with Sally down to 60 miles per hour in the storm as it continues to track northeast across Alabama, Georgia, and then into the Carolinas over the next few days will continue to dump a lot of rain. Maybe not as much as it has, but still a lot of rain that will lead to flooding. Uh, looks like some six to eight inch totals will be a possibility even across the Atlanta, Georgia area up into the Carolinas. For us locally, the pattern stays quiet. Uh, looks like once we get that cold front through early Thursday, we're just going to see a fall shot of air settle in across the eastern half of the United States. And with high pressure to our northeast, it's going to continue to feed in that mild air into early next week. So here's your seven day forecast and it is looking good. 77 for high on Friday. We've got some chilly mornings that we're going to be enjoying. I think Saturday, Sunday and Monday morning, especially where areas, especially to the east, will dip into the upper 40s. It looks like probably low 50s for us here in Springfield. Afternoon highs in the upper 70s and then as we work into uh, the first half of next week, we'll see those temperatures starting to edge a little higher. Okay, so beautiful temperatures and no rain from no Sally. rain. And, and as David said, it it's possible that we may not see rain for the next two weeks. How about that? All yeah. right. Okay. On the way here at five after some